Well, everyone, iOS and iPhones have been out for such a long time, and in my opinion, there have been so many legendary games, and I actually wanted to go ahead and take a look at a few that we used to play when we were younger or when iPhones first came out. Now, the first one being, you know, you know, Cut the Rope. This was a legendary game when it first came out, and it's still pretty much relevant. Now, it's still getting updates. I wasn't expecting this to, you know, this specific game to keep getting updates like this, which is pretty interesting. But this game requires you to go ahead and essentially cut the rope, and you want to feed the little green beast, whatever this is. Now, this game isn't super crazy. I guess there's a free trial thing now that you have to, I guess, do. I have no idea what this is now. I, maybe you have to buy it, I, and this is how games get ruined. This game, I think, used to be free. Now, you actually have to pay $9.99 a month to get the VIP membership for Cut the Rope. But there was an X button that you can actually go in and click, and this game was one of the most popular games when it first came out. And even now to this day, I still think some people play it, but I mean, it's probably not as popular as it used to be, but it's still a pretty interesting game for sure. And in my opinion, like, I would still recommend people to play it. Now, the next game we have is Glow Hockey. Now, this was another game that I used to play all the time. Now, with this specific game, it's legendary in its own right. Now, obviously... This is like a two-player game or whatever, and it hasn't been optimized for the iPhones with notches, but it's still pretty cool. Now, now this game requires you to essentially use this specific device as a air hockey kind of thing, and this was another legendary game that I used to see so many people play back in the day, and it's funny because this game, as you can see, for the most part, it's a pretty easy game to kind of maneuver with. And overall, I mean, this was another game that I used to play. This was available, I think, both on Android and iPhone. So you can still play it if you want to. Obviously, there's some changes to it. But that was another game we used to play. Now, this game is a legendary game. I think a lot of people will remember. This was, I think, one of the only games that I used to play when I was younger. If you remember the HTC phone, this also had, you know, the game like this. Now, all this requires you to do is essentially take this ball and essentially move your phone and put it in the hole. And you can see it's a pretty easy process for the most part. Now, I don't even know if it was the hole or whatever I had to do, but that's really pretty much the game. You know, you pretty much have to keep moving the ball like this and do anything you can to pretty much move the ball into that direction. And overall, what I can tell you is that this game was a legendary game as well. I played this one a lot on my Android phone, the one that with the HTC on it, the HTC device. And overall, this was another really cool, you know, specific game that we used to play. Now, who can forget Doodle Jump? This was a legendary game as well. Now, I used to play this game like crazy. It's insane how much I used to play this game, especially like when I was way younger. Now, I don't really play this game too often. I didn't even know they had a Doodle Jump too. And if you guys remember, the bottom actually had a couple of different maps you could choose from. The best one, though, in my opinion, was the space one because it did give you a boost that you can go ahead and kind of, you know, get a couple more points here and there. But this game was a crazy game too. I used to try to to get the high score over and over again and there was like a touchscreen mod i had so i would actually be able to maneuver without you know utilizing my phone but i think they patched it since then i don't know if it was a cheat or something i do remember my phone being able to do that and uh, you know this game just requires you to get as high as possible and that was pretty much the whole entire synopsis of the game now i do hate the little tutorial thing every single time but like i mentioned this was a crazy game i remember so many people playing it and i'm a huge fan of this game you know i think this was one of the games that i probably spent a majority of the time on because it wasn't like a crazy 3d game so you know if you had like an iphone 3g even if the iphone 5 came out you could still play this game and it wasn't super intensive on your phone so not a lot of glitched frames as you can see it's a pretty basic game but I, I miss this game a lot. I might start playing it again a lot more. Now, I think you all know what the game this is. Angry Birds was another crazy game that we used to play. Now, Angry Birds 2, this is, I guess, the updated version of it. I couldn't find the original Angry Birds. I don't know why. But it's crazy that this game was as popular as it was. This is like, there's like games, there's iPhone games, and then there's Angry Birds. This was, I guess, it's like in a whole different league compared to every other game that came out. Now, here's the thing with Angry Birds, right? With a game like this, you are like, this is, a, there's such a huge community behind this game. There's so many people who play this game. There was a movie based off this game. Like, what the heck? It's the craziest thing in my opinion. And I think overall, this is another one of those games that, you know, if you have an iPhone, you've probably played this. Even if you had any other device, you know, Android or whatever, you probably had a game like this. You probably played it. And this is another one of those games that if you were in like in high school or middle school at the time and you had a device, 
everyone was playing this game it had billions of downloads i think a lot of people still play it this game probably still makes like millions of dollars for this company like a day probably or like a week or something and it's crazy i haven't heard people mention this game anymore but angry birds is a legendary game as well and i really do miss it to be honest now this is another crazy game that some of you may remember now i don't know if this is the original one but, but Paper Toss was another game that people used to play all the time as well. Now this game required you to go ahead and try your best to kind of go and throw, you know, this trash, I guess the, you know, paper ball, whatever, into the trash bin. And I used to play this game a little bit. I don't think I got into this game when it first came out because I think I didn't have an iPhone when this one was popular or something like that. I don't really remember. But this game was another wild game. I don't think this is the original game because maybe I don't think the aspect ratio would have been updated because they probably stopped supporting this you know, game a while ago. But this was another wild game that people used to play. Now finally, we have Jetpack Joyride. This in and of itself was such a crazy game in my opinion. It brought so many different things and overall it's one of the most, I guess, impressive games at a certain time. Obviously, since all these games came out, they out like I don't know why they have so many different ads. And this game required you to go ahead and I guess this guy would run, they would come out of the wall, and you had to hold down on the display to actually go ahead and jump over all these enemies and different things like that. Now it's gonna be pretty hard for me to play while we're doing this, I knew it but you pretty much just had to get as far as you could. And again, when you have a game like this, I mean, this is such a crazy game. And it's crazy to me that people are probably still playing with this specific game. And for sure, I mean, I used to play this game a ton when I was, you know, when this game first came out. This is actually the same creators who made Fruit Ninja. So this is a pretty popular game. It had a pretty big audience, I would say. And like I mentioned, I mean, if you're trying to go and play a game you and you've never played this, I would definitely recommend it. This game still holds up pretty well. It's a pretty fun arcade game. I think a lot more games nowadays are like, you know, racing or like FPS or something. But this was actually a pretty impressive game when it first came out. Although the graphics aren't super crazy, it definitely is. You know, these endless runners are really fun. And speaking about endless runners, who could ever forget Temple Run? One of the craziest games that I still talk about all the time, if you guys know. I mean, on my channel, I talk about this game a lot. It is, in and of itself, one of another legendary game. I mean, this thing, I don't even remember, man. This thing first came out, I was so impressed with the graphics. And even now, for this game to have came out when it first came out was crazy. And there were so many cheat codes. People were trying to figure out how to, like, you know, game the system and try to, like, get the highest score and everyone was posting it on twitter and stuff and again it's so nostalgic just trying to play this game nowadays because you know i, I obviously i play it every single day almost but it's still a crazy wild game that some people may remember now actually finally i know i said finally like three times now this game is such a crazy game fruit ninja same people who make jetpack joyride and like i mentioned when you have a game like this you guys already know what's going down i mean this game the first one of the first games i ever saw was fruit ninja it had so much capability it was so much fun and to be honest the graphics haven't really changed too much like they've also made the updated version so it's a whole full separate game but this classic mode is still here for everyone to play with and it's crazy to me that this you know game developer made this game and the graphics are still almost exactly the same which is so impressive so i love fruit ninja and to be honest, I love all of these games, you know, every single iPhone game that's came out that's like a legendary in its own way. I mean, we have all these different games that have came out and ultimately I love iPhones, but those are some crazy cool games that may be nostalgic to you that you may have played, you know, a couple years ago or 10 years ago even. So that's pretty much it. If you guys have any other questions or anything, let me know in the comment section below. Hit the like button, that would mean so much, but definitely hit that subscribe button. More importantly, that everything else, I love every single one of you guys. Hopefully I'll catch you guys in the next video. Peace out till then.